At the moment of birth, each of us is as free as a bird, with not a single restraint tying us down. But with age come the varied shackles that bind, clipping away at our wings, feather by feather. In time, we long for a return to the freedom we once knew. But the truth is, we can return to those days whenever we so choose. perfect or what? The brisk ocean breeze, the wide open sea, smells like a new journey on our horizon. I gotta say, I'm glad I took you up on your offer, Adel. Being stranded on Asteria for so long was really getting to me. I'm glad I asked you to come. Same. This has me even more pumped than all the way back when I first left my hometown. It's been a wild ride since then, but that doesn't make me any less grateful to you. I can hardly remember the last time I felt this chipper. Adel. Dogi. So this is where you two were. My, I never dared dream I'd get to see the actual ocean in person. Even now, it's difficult to believe a vessel this large is capable of floating upon its waves. What manner of sorcery is this? I guess this is all one big culture shock for someone born and raised on Ys. Dr. Flair here is even giddier than me. That I am. In my view, being on the surface instead of above it is a miracle in itself. To say nothing of the unprecedented chance it's given me to search for the original strain of Selsetan Flower. Selsetan Flower? That's the name of a type of medicinal herb, right? It's native to the great forest on the Galia Ispani border or something. Indeed it is. I couldn't very well rest on my heels after hearing that's where you two were headed. The prospect of seeing it in its natural habitat was ample reason to climb aboard. Your get-up-and-go could put even Adel to shame. But be sure to mind your health, okay? At the rate you're going, you'll end up fainting in sheer bliss the second you stumble onto those flowers. <laughs> well, frankly speaking, that scenario is all but guaranteed. Well, we won't be arriving in Celsetta for a long while yet. Might as well kick back a bit and enjoy the ride for now, don't you think?
Ah, a passenger. Having a pleasant voyage, I hope? You appear to be a seasoned traveler for a boy your age. Is that right? My apologies for presuming, then. If this is your first time in the area, you won't want to miss the extraordinary sights we have coming up shortly. Oh? What's that over there? Mountains? No, wait. I think those are islands. Attention all passengers. I am your captain, Victor LaSalle. Allow me to express my gratitude to you for sailing with us on the Adamas today. If you look to our left-hand side, you'll find Obelia Gulf, famous for its sprawling archipelago. This current bout of clear weather lets us see the myriad patches of land, both large and small, that populate these waters. It will be quite some time yet before the ship arrives at our destination in Celsetta. So until then, we invite you to bask in this scenic tapestry of blue seas and beauteous islands. Understood. Let's make haste. My word! What a magnificent sight! Obelia Gulf, huh? Sure doesn't disappoint. That reminds me, Adel. You said you were looking for a western archipelago before you came to Asteria, right? Is there any chance this might be... Whoa! A little close for comfort, don't you think? How's a guy supposed to take in the sights like this? Hey, Adel! Men. Prepare to hunt. Behold thy foes with steady hearts. Fear not thy fate, for life and death are the deities to decide. Those who fall with valor shall be ushered into their divine kingdom. Now, shout forth the name of our god! Ha! It can't be! P pirates! So he did hire mercenaries. Shield wall! Charge! Stay behind us, Doc! Right. Thank you. Oh? You another one of them mercs? Bit on the puny side, ain't he? Sure you know which way to hold that thing, little fella? What a joke. The big lug behind him would be more worth our time. What difference does that make? You've still got a blade at the ready either way. Enough chit-chat! Let's make this quick!
rotten punk! You're in for it now! You bumbling louts! How long does it take to handle one sellsword trying to play bodyguard? Our fault, ma'am. The kid's a lot tougher than he looks. Oh, really? Fine then. I'll take care of him myself. Done saying your prayers? How's that? <laughs> You're pretty skilled. Whoa! Here it comes! Whole lot of fuss for one small fry. Try not to lose that red head of yours, kid! Princess. I must ask that you stand down. That boy appears to be no more than a passenger. What? We have already apprehended the captain. Right this way. <sighs> so those are pirates. This is my first time encountering them in the flesh. Oh boy, we're in a real jam now. Ugh. Captain Victor LaSalle. I thought we had an agreement. There's a toll for sail in these waters. And you promise never to skip out on it again. H hold on a moment! This is the last time, I swear! Whatever you do, just let me live! We both already know how this goes. Any room you had to parley was forfeit the minute you put those mercenaries on your payroll. <clears throat> Stay your hand, boy. Those are no mere pirates. They're the Balta Sea Force.
Woof, I'm stuffed. Guess good eats are a given when you set up town by the ocean. The stuff you get further inland just doesn't compare to fresh seafood. That aside, it would seem we're going to be stranded here for the time being. Yeah, who'd have guessed the Adamas was cruising through these waters illegally? Obviously, the captain already paid the ultimate price for that. But I hear they're even seizing his ship as compensation for all those unpaid tolls. It leads me to wonder what the story is behind this Balta Sea Force. To their credit, they did let Adel loose after determining he was merely a passenger. Doesn't make those lugs any less high and mighty, though. If they look like pirates and plunder like pirates... Like Normans, you mean? Normans, you say? There are lawless people from the north with incredible seafaring know-how. Word is, they've looted their way not just here, but across the entire North Sea. Raiding towns, pillaging churches, kidnapping innocents... None of it is beneath a Norman. And the Balta Sea Force makes up just one faction among them. Sounds like your typical pirates to me. How do they get away with it? I was given to understand that the entire region of Glia fell under Roman Imperial control. Rumor has it that not even the Empire would dare to defy the Sea Force. The Normans have had an iron-fisted grip on Obelia Gulf for ages now. Some say that it spares us from suffering under Roman rule, but they don't speak for everybody. Hey, did you hear about what happened to the Adamas? I did. Captain LaSalle was treading a dangerous line. He simply reaped what he sowed, if you ask me. Won't argue with that. Still, it's hard not to feel for the guy. Those pirates had no right to waltz in like they own these waters and demand a toll. Why should any of us have to play along with their made-up... Shush! I can sympathize, but that sort of talk is best kept to yourself. Oh, what did I do to deserve being born in Karnak, of all places? I see what you mean. Doesn't sound like they get the warmest reception around here. As would be the case in any town, though this one does seem to have its fair share of hardships. <sighs> It does have its charms, yes. The bevy of islands we saw from the ship, for instance, were absolutely breathtaking. Oh, yes, that's true. We locals are so used to the view that it often slips our minds. That reminds me, Missy. These islands wouldn't happen to come with any unusual myths or lore, would they? Our little group's got a special interest in that sort of thing. Is that your reason for traveling, maybe? I can't guarantee there's anything that'll live up to your expectations, but... Hmm... Let's see... Aha! If it's run-of-the-mill folktales you're after, I have just the one. Really, now? Do share. Well, legends tell of what's known as the Sea King's Throne. The throne is said to be hidden away on one of the islands here in Obelia Gulf. Supposedly, whoever finds and sits upon it will have their wishes granted. Oh-ho! That's some juicy stuff. How about it, Adel? This do anything for you? Who are you fooling? I can see the giddiness written all over your face. Uh, hold on a moment. It really is just a story. Oh, what's the harm? Let them chase their dreams. That's what being young is all about. Heck, back when I was their age, I... <clears throat> Forgive him. He's had a few ales too many, it seems. Say that throne really exists, though. What would you wish for, Rosalind? Huh? M me Well, for our humble little business to prosper, of course. What else? <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye, it does. <laughs> Renee must be proud. It's easy to see why you're Rusveri's poster girl. 
Makes me want to spend three days and nights drinking this tavern down to its last drop. And I do it all with a smile. The more they rake in the cash, the happier Rosalind gets. How sweet! I think you've had quite enough for one day. Our apologies for bothering you, gentlemen. Nah, it's all good. Like they mentioned, my name is Rosalind. I'm the daughter of the owners. The three of you are going to be lodging with us tonight, right? If you have any issues during your stay, anything at all, just let me know. Of course! Always happy to be of service. Well, I'd better get back to work. Relax and unwind as long as you need. Such a capable young lady. Reminds me of Lilia back home. By the way, Adel. I know this Sea King's throne is a big deal and all, but we got some other things to take care of first if we're sticking around. The travel funds we scrounged up were only enough to get us to Salceda. Quite right. With that in mind, I plan to pay the local clinic a visit. Upon our arrival, I noticed a flyer that said they were recruiting medical practitioners. Well, ain't that convenient. Doesn't really solve the issue for us two, though. Are you youngsters in need of work? Yeah. You got any leads? Well, both the harbor and the town militia are hiring at the moment. The docks are always short on labor. I'm certain a brawny fellow such as yourself would be a welcome addition. And the red-haired lad is a swordsman, no? The militia's been on the hunt for temporary recruits, I believe. No joke? That's great! Thanks for the tip! Seems we have a few promising candidates. Sure do. Let's get out there and follow up on them once we're done taking a load off. Alright, you two. This is where we split up for now. Indeed. I'll be heading to the local clinic. I may just take a look around town as well, seeing as we're extending our stay. Let's aim to meet back up around dinner time then. Adel, I'm guessing you're also gonna... You good? If you're sure. Anyway, back to what I was saying. It's time to start scoping this place out. You probably plan to wander the streets a bit yourself before checking in with the militia, huh, Adel? Catch you both later, then.
I've got to say, the quality of these Spanish leather goods is on a whole other level. One might say the same of Obelian seafood. Rich flavors, firm to the touch. It is simply unparalleled. Rome and Hispani may be at odds right now, but I believe our transaction today has proved mutually beneficial. To be perfectly honest, our middleman here deserves all the credit for making this deal happen. Th that attire is here. Well spotted. I am indeed a Norman. However, I find that being a tradesman suits me far better than waving an axe about. <laughs> That's good to know. They say Normans are first-class mariners. No doubt that expertise slots in perfectly with mercantile work. I'm flattered to hear you say so. It's thanks to the Balta Sea Force that we're still able to do business like this during wartime. They're the ones who make sure ships from both sides can travel these waters safely. Not having those persnickety Roman officials around to stick their oars in has been heaven sent for us as well. I very much look forward to your continued patronage. <laughs> you and me both, pal. <laughs> And let's not forget to keep our friends from the Sea Force in the loop, too. On a separate note, Romes, the militia recently informed me that an incident has blocked the highway out of town. Correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you have an important negotiation to attend in that direction? Well, well, word gets around fast. It's nothing I'm not aware of. In fact, I've already asked the militia for an update on the situation. Shouldn't be long before they report back. You there, with the red hair. Well, here's an unfamiliar face. You must be one of the passengers from the Adamas. Is everything all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? Sorry for calling to you out of nowhere like that. We each have a child about the same age as you. So our motherly instincts kicked in. Honestly, who do those Balta hooligans think they are? Wreaking havoc left, right, and center. They impose an exorbitant toll on every vessel crossing Obelia Gulf, and plunder anyone who flouts it. Some ships, like the Adamas, will try and make their way through without drawing attention. But when they're found out, they wind up like Captain LaSalle. That's for sure. 
Once you're dead, that's it. Nothing else to be done. Ironically enough, the Balta Sea Force would have escorted them personally had he paid the toll. In that sense, they do their part to maintain order throughout the Gulf, which is why the Roman Empire turns a blind eye. When all is said and done, as long as we live here, those brigands' word is law. There are far fewer instances of pillaging than before now, so we can only assume this is for the best. Still, it would be nice if our mayor could put his foot down every once in a while. <sighs> I pity the man. Having to deal with our complaints and the Sea Force's demands has him between a rock and a hard place. Well, that's what he signed up for when he took on the job. Anyway, you just be sure to stay out of their line of fire. Oh, you got a job for us? Huh? Wait a second. Hey, don't tell me. You're here to sign up for the militia, right? Never seen you around before. But I think we're about the same age. The name's Gren. How about you? Paddle, huh? Man, oh man. You've just gotta enlist. We could really use a guy like you. Wait, what's with the long face? Ugh. Is that a deal breaker? It did used to be slightly better for what it's worth. But the mayor slashed our budget in order to keep the militia from being overfunded. When the Balta Sea Force says jump, he asks, how high? It's pathetic enough to drive you to tears. You, you mean it? I knew I liked you for a reason. The only problem is, our commander and the others are out at the moment. They should be here tomorrow, though, so feel free to swing by again around noon. Call it a hunch, but I've got a feeling you and I are gonna be fast friends. Calling all youths! A career in the Karnak Militia awaits you! Seek me. This way. Seek me. Right here. Find me.
swordsman. Can you hear me? They stole you mana. Enough power. Defeat. Search Island. Come find help. In go. So the shell spoke to you. How very curious. As for this mana you mentioned, can we assume it's some form of magic? Well, of course it is. You only just got it a little while ago. That wolf you fought that just wouldn't die has me hung up too. I talked up a storm with the guys down at the docks, but none of them mentioned anything close to that. It may well be that something is actively unfolding as we speak. The Balta Sea Force, Mana, an undead wolf, and a girl named Leela. Doesn't seem to tie in with that Sea King's throne we heard about earlier, either. It's just mystery after mystery around here. You know what that means. <laughs> Your eye always thought adventure was something you had to seek out. But whenever you're around, Adel, it seems to find us instead. <laughs> Nothing like a little intrigue to spice up a trip. Finding that girl's gonna be a tall order, though. This gulf's got more islands than you can shake a stick at. The first step is to gather information. You'll also be in need of a ship. I'll put my new job down at the harbor to use and poke around for some intel. As for myself, the Azrat Clinic has hired me on as a temporary physician. I'll see if I can't find someone in town who's willing to lend us a hand. Sounds like a plan. Let's kick things off first thing tomorrow morning, Adel.
can't go through here. Didn't think you'd show up alone. There's something I need to double check. You're probably full of questions, but I'm in no mood to explain. Just think of this as us picking up where we left off yesterday. So you do know of it. Won't hold back this time! Yeah. you get your hands on it? You didn't use it back on the Adamas. I could say that much. Leela? Never heard of her. Mana, on the other hand, is my people's concept of a formless power. Imbued in a sword, it brings forth victory. Imbued in a vessel, it grants safe passage. Only those chosen by the All-Father Har are able to wield it. Out of the Sea Force, that list starts and ends with me and my old man. It is. So explain to me why a louse like you... Blood and Thunder... Grieger... <laughs> you fought one just yesterday, didn't you? Put a Grieger down with just any old weapon, and it'll rise back up again and again, wounds fully healed. Mana is the only thing that can slay him for good. <laughs> well, aren't we popular? What was that 
just now. Now I have a good grasp on what I was sent to investigate. We're finished here. So long. Huh? And why should that matter? I'm a Norman. A pirate. One false move, and you might be my next kill. Can't handle that? Then pack your bags and see yourself out of Obelia Gulf. Handcuffs? Made of mana? You! What did you pull this time? Guess not. This mana doesn't seem to be coming from either of us. Ugh, stuck tight! Gawkin and help! This spells trouble for us in more ways than you can count! Either we get these off, or I'm sending you back with one less hand. Got that? <sighs> no luck. Might well be a curse of some kind. I hate to say it, but my old man's probably the only person we can turn to at this point. Couldn't even begin to guess. What a mess. They call you Adol, right? We'll have to stick together for a while. Unless you fancy me lopping you off at the wrist. Watch it. If anyone should be complaining, it's me. My name's Karja. Karja Balta. Daughter of Grimson Balta, Jarl of the Balta Sea Force. <laughs> Already put two and two together, eh? Well, no time to waste. I'm off to report in at the Balta Sea Force's command post. It's over by the harbor, so don't fall behind. Hey, don't stray too far. I've taken enough tumbles for my liking. Wonder if Gunnar knows anything about this. Command post the other.
Hey, princess. Back already? Who's your plus one? It's Gnarin. I have a report to make. Yeah, I'll go get him for you. <laughs> Not every day you see the princess bringing someone from the straight and narrow. You her little boy toy now, or what? Wait, for real? Didn't realize you were her type. Actually, now that I think about it, wasn't that swordsman she threw down with on the Adamus also? Hey, what are you whispering to him about? Uh, just making small talk. I swear. What seems to be the trouble, Princess? Benar, how many times do I have to tell you to quit calling me that? Oh? Who might this boy be? He's the swordsman Grimson told me to look into. A request from the Jarl? Ah, now I remember. He was a passenger on the Adamas. I see. So we have here not only a mana wielder, but a pair of mystical shackles. What's more, the latter has rendered you unable to separate from the former. That better not be a smirk, I see. Not at all. This isn't humorous in the least. It is, however, exceptionally unusual. Only the Jarl can make the final call here. Unfortunately, he is currently out at sea on an expedition. We do not expect him back until tomorrow. Tomorrow? I and just what am I supposed to do until then? Hmm. With all due respect, Princess, I must ask that you spend the remainder of your day here in Karnak. What? But why? It wouldn't do to have a non-shield brother accompanying us, for one thing. <sighs> This may even be to your benefit from a certain perspective. What better chance to familiarize yourself with how those under our rule live and think? I believe you're at an age now where such matters ought to be considered. Fair. Not to mention it is possible for this turn of events to be grossly misconstrued. In what way? There are those who would be only too pleased to regard this as a scandalous affair on your part. We have no need to voluntarily provide them with issues to raise at the Thingstead. All right, already! I get the message. Adol, was it? My apologies for giving you a fright on the Adamas. I am Gunnar, War Chief of the Baltus Sea Force. I can imagine, especially if that was your first encounter with our people. No doubt you have many thoughts on the subject, but collaboration is a must if you want any hope of resolving this. We Normans have our ways, some of which may run counter to your own. Nevertheless, I would ask that you work in concert with her and us until we manage to set you two free. It, my apologies, but based on what I've just heard, your compliance is not a matter of choice. I will notify you as soon as the R returns, Princess. Until then, travel with Adol and mind what he says. Don't you have that backwards, Gunnar? Why are you so trusting of him anyway? That you feel the need to ask is all the more reason to make use of this opportunity. The boy is, if nothing else, accustomed to travel. I expect he will be very accommodating. <sighs> I had best return to my duties. Take care. I leave the rest to you, Adol.
So, this is the Azrad Clinic. Some of our crew's been treated here. They do a good job, as far as I can tell. Who is it? I'll be there in just a moment. Oh, Dr. Flair. Welcome back. Sorry again for putting you up to that house call. It should have been my father checking in with Mr. Evelys. Now, now, don't give it another thought. Actually, I stopped by to ask a rather, shall we say, convoluted favor of you, Mirabelle. Why, of course. What is it? Would it happen to have anything to do with the local celebrity standing behind you? Yes, she is the crux of the matter, in fact. Well, I can certainly see why that'd be a problem. It just so happens that we've been collecting used clothing as part of our volunteer efforts. There might be something in there that'll fit you, Princess. <sighs> hmm? Is something the matter? No, it's just... You don't seem to be all that afraid of me. Our clinic has a policy of helping all those who are sick, injured, or otherwise in need. That goes for everyone, be they a Roman, a Spaniard, or Norman. And besides, in your case, I would be more than happy to help. Give me just a moment, please. There we are. Alrighty, step right in. I still don't see the problem with what I'm in now. This goes on the outside. You just put it on, like so. Hold it! I am a Norman warrior. How am I meant to keep an even keel in that flimsy getup? There's no need for that. Mirabelle can handle this just fine. Let's wait and see how things turn out. Hmm. You may be right that these clothes aren't as sturdy in comparison, but... Odd as it sounds, the right apparel at the right time and place can hold more power than you realize. Much like your mana, in fact. Huh? Clothing that suits the occasion can do wonders for your courage and confidence. For example, donning this nurse uniform fills me with pride and peace of mind. The outfit you're currently in has a similar effect on you, doesn't it, princess? <sighs> You've been told to spend the entirety of today here in Karnak. I'm positive the memories these garments hold will give you the strength to do just that. What one wears during life's biggest moments can serve as a memory in and of itself. So that's how you people see it. Fine then. One change of clothes won't kill me. Your words won me over. Even if that bit about memories went over my head. I knew you'd come around. See? What did I say? Indeed, Mirabelle is quite impressive for someone her age. I heard she even has a knack for getting all the children to drink their medicine, no matter how bitter. Dun, da, da, da. The time has come for the grand reveal! From fearsome pirate princess to cute as a button, I present to you, Karja! You call this... cute? Drafty, more like. Huh. You really think so? Actually, now that I'm wearing it, this is a lot more mobility than I thought it would. Consider me astounded. You're a miracle worker, Mirabelle. Not even I thought it would go this well. On that note, it's nearly time for you two to meet with the militia, isn't it? You should probably be on your way, Adel. 